Today I'm going to review a new iPad app available from Autodesk called Vectorize It. Vectorize It allows me to take a picture of any object and then convert that picture to 2D vector data that I can open up inside of AutoCAD. So I have the application open and I'm going to choose to take a picture. And for the demonstration today I'm going to grab the model of the Stig from Top Gear. This model sits on my desk all the time and uh, I need to put this image of the Stig into AutoCAD. So that's the goal of our process today. So let me frame the Stig uh, up. Let me take a good picture of this. And then this information will be sent automatically back into the Vectorize It app. Now the application will solve it automatically for grayscale and it'll define the edges and vectorize it automatically and it does a fantastic job automatically but I can fine-tune the solution if I want to. Now in this case I'm going to use the mask tool to remove all the background data that I don't want in my final drawing. I'm going to adjust my brush size and simply go through and remove the data that I don't want in the final AutoCAD drawing file. Of course, just like any other iPad app, I can zoom in to make these selections easier. And it's very simple to remove the data that I don't want. Now I could also crop the image if I want to. A simple crop tool allows me to focus on the design that I want. I can adjust the brightness of the image or I can adjust the, crop, the contrast of the image. And by it, these adjustments, we're actually determining how the grayscale is read and what edges will appear in the AutoCAD drawing or not appear. We also can control the threshold of the edges and the thickness of the edges as well. Once I have the image previewing correctly, I'll move to the second step, which is to vectorize it. Now at this point, it becomes vector data. And you can actually add or erase lines at this point. You can straighten edges if you want or solve for straight edges if you choose to. But you can also simplify these edges. The edges end up to be 3D polylines inside of AutoCAD. And by simplifying them, we make them straighter and remove a number of control points that we really don't need for this particular design. We also have the option to turn smoothing on or off. And in this case, because it's a human form, I want to turn smoothing on. Now that the data is ready, we can go ahead and start the export option. I really do like this option. You can actually add a scale value to your picture. Uh, for instance, if you're using a machine or something and you want to apply a scale value. You can then export it to AutoCAD 360. You could mail yourself a DXF file or you could save the image to your camera roll. And in this example, I'm going to mail myself a DXF file. It automatically generates the email. You can review the scan and then you can add the recipient to the email. Now I've gone ahead and opened up the DXF scan with AutoCAD so that you can review the results of the Vectorize It application. Here you can see the STIG uh, very easily taken from a picture, vectorized, and put into the AutoCAD application. If you'd like to try the Vectorize It app, you'll find it available for free at the App Store. At the time of this recording, the application is only available for the iPad device. If you've ever imported a picture into AutoCAD and manually tried to convert it to vector data, you know how valuable an app like this can be. I had a great time reviewing this app, and I hope you get a chance to use it yourself.